Hello, this paper is entitled Optimization of Properties for 3D Printed PLA Material Using Taguchi, ANOVA, and Multi-Objective Methodologies. The authors that are mentioned below the title here and let's go and narrate the PowerPoint for understanding what's be mentioned in the paper. Thank you. Uh, in recent years, there has been an increasing interest in 3D printing technology, or its other name, additive manufacturing. Fused deposition modeling, or FDM, is the most popular 3D printing technology on the market. Select, selecting the best possible level for process parameters is one of the greatest challenges. Therefore, this research work aims to provide insights on the influence of process parameters of FDM on mechanical properties of printed parts or final parts using design of experiments or DOE. Our presentation is divided into four main parts. First, our study was introduced, uh, then data and uh, employed optimization methodologies uh, what were described. Finally, novelties and gaps are mentioned. In this work, the effect of process parameters of tensile characteristics of 3D printed object was studied. We investigated the technology of a fused deposition modeling or FDM because of its wide adaptability, simple mechanism, and low cost. Among all different types of 3D printing filament, uh, filaments, uh, the filament of polyactic acid or PLA is one of the most used materials in this area and we have used for this research. 3D printing parameters include uh, one, in field density, to extrusion temperature, three raster angle, and four layer thickness. Moreover, the properties, uh, which are mechanical properties, are ultimate tensile stress, yield strength, modulus of elasticity, toughness, and elongation at break. We can mention these uh, papers as related literatures that studied FDM's parameters. Uh, these papers are such as Late et al. 2018 and Sagias et al. and other papers which you can see in this presentation and are available in the paper. Uh, there are some gaps uh, here. For example, some of them used many experiments or all of the experiments available. Uh, more tests we have, more cost and time we need. So using design of experiment methodologies such as Taguchi method can help us to lessen the uh, number of experiments. In this study, the reported experiences from late at all 2018 was analyzed. Uh, the authors of the paper used different printing parameters in, the, in their experimental work and manufactured 24 groups of dog bone tensile test samples uh, made from PLA material to study the mentioned mechanical properties well, here we see the factors and the orthogonal array. First, uh, printing parameters are shown the, in the first table. As you, as you see, uh, we have three levels for infield density, two levels for extrusion temperature, two levels for raster angle, and two levels for layer thickness. We proposed a L12 orthogonal array to study properties of 3D printed objects with less, uh, with less experiments, then DOE and optimization method was applied for this data set. Moreover, if six, 60 for the first factor and 
220 and 90 and uh, 0.1 are chosen for A, B, C and D respectively the values of properties would, would be unknown and unpredictable so to solve this problem regression model can be used to predict the response values at first we applied taguchi method for our data the results can be seen in these figures graphs show the mechanical properties behavior in different levels of printing factors it can be seen that infill density has a significant effect on all outputs and raster angle and layer thickness have less effects on the UTS or ultimate tensile stress value. Moreover, the results show that besides in the infill density, layer thickness has a significant effect uh, on elongation at rake and toughness, toughness values as well. It is achievable from the results that increasing the infill density extrusion temperature and raster angle and uh, decreasing layer thickness improves the UTS modulo, modulus of elasticity and yield strength. In this slide, you will see the Taguchi method best levels of factors. The best level of factors for each mechanical property is summarized in the first table. The result describes that 60% infill density is the best level of infill density parameter, but there is no unique printing configuration that optimizes all of the mechanical properties all together. Here are the regression equations. The regression models are fitted to each mechanical property that show the relationship between the printing parameters and mechanical properties. Negative and positive coefficients indicate a negative and positive effect respectively. For example, positive coefficient shows the mechanical property will increase if the printing parameter increases. The larger the coefficients, the greater their impact. The results are consistent with the results obtained from the Taguchi method. Also, each property is optimized by the response optimizer in Minitab software to optimize factors and predict response variables. You can see fitted value of mechanical properties according to optimized levels in the fit column in the table. Confidence intervals, the CI, shows the interval for the estimation of the true value of the mean of the mechanical property. If these tests are repeated many times, 95% of the CIs would contain the, me the mean of the mechanical properties value. Prediction intervals or the PIs present an interval for the estimation of a new individual of the observation and for predicting. It is expected that if the process is repeated infinitely in 95% of cases, PI includes the value of mechanical properties of the new sample produced according to the specific uh, 3D printing parameters. For example, if 60, 245, and 0.2 are chosen for A, B, C, D factors respectively, the toughness of the new sample will be between 0.9440 and 1.9440 with a confidence of 95%. However, there is a conflict 
with proposing a unique printing configuration for all of these responses. Considering the importance of stress and toughness, we examine these two mechanical properties. We are faced with two conflicting goals. So non-dominated sorting genetic algorithm or NSGA2 uh, could be used as a multi-objective optimization method. NSGA2 is coded in MATLAB and uh, it could be usable for analyzing the optimization model. If there are other constraints, they can be considered in this model. This figure illustrates Pareto front of proposed model. These non-dominated solutions are different alternatives that help decision makers to review different choices and select the appropriate values. It means one can choose between these Pareto solutions for any desired preferences and possible conditions. In this work, we showed that we can achieve valuable results with less experiment, experiments. By the means of Taguchi method and the design of experiments, we used fewer experiments but more valuable results and uh, conclusions. It helps us to save time and cost. Moreover, we showed that if there is conflicting results, we can use metaheuristics to help decision makers in choosing proper levels. Thanks for your attention.